Did you know how easy it is to start blogging on your own custom domain? My name is Ronald and I'm a marketing executive here at Hashnode. And in this video, we're going to be looking exactly at this. So in order to connect your own custom domain, all you need to do is navigate to the hashnode.com landing page, make sure you're logged into your account, then click your profile picture, go to my blog and then blog dashboard. Over here we have two options. The first one is my personal blog, which we can't use because I have already connected a domain there. The second one is a team blog I just created. So we're going to use this one for this demo, select this one and then scroll down to the domain section. Over here we have two options. The first one is a hashnode.dev subdomain. The second one is a custom domain. So what does this mean? By default, every blog on Hashnode has a hashnode.dev subdomain, which you can use, which you can blog on, which is totally free. And I already opened this in another tab here. Let's have a look. So this is my blog, blog home. Um, I haven't published anything yet, so it's empty here. If we click on members, you see my face here. But it's working, right? Uh, everything's good. But in most of the cases, in most of the time, you want to blog on your own domain, right? So if we navigate back here, uh, we can select custom domain and then we can enter a domain we want to blog on. So in my case, I will use blog.wbhkr.com. If you're wondering, this is a fictional project I created just for this demo. And it's created. And now all we need to do is create a CNAME record at our domain registrar, right? I'm using AWS root 53. So we're going to need to create the CNAME record over there. I already opened my dashboard. Let's create this record. Uh, it's a CNAME, as I said, and it's blog.wbhkr.com. And we're going to need to use hashnode.network as a value, right? So let's create this one. And this is basically all it takes, right? This can take some minutes to propagate uh, properly everywhere. But if we go back here and click refresh, maybe it's already working. As we can see, the DNS config is already up to date, but this can take some time now. So we're going to uh, wait a few minutes and then check back if everything works correctly. So this took about two minutes. Everything's working now. My domain is connected. And if I click here, we can see that it's working on blog.wbhkr.com. Uh, my blog is hosted. Uh, it's still empty because I haven't published anything in the meantime, but it's working properly and I can now send links using my own domain, which is really awesome. The hashnode.dev domain will remain active uh, in case you disconnect your domain at some point. But other than that, it's working perfectly fine. And all it takes is to set a CNAME record and you're good to go. So as you can see, using Hashnode to blog on your own custom domain is very easy. And the best thing is, it's totally free and it will always be. So we'd love for you to give it a try and let us know what you think. This is Hashnode 101. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.